Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today, I'm here with Jay Parker. But before we talk more about today's topic, which is playing G.I. Joe in the cyberpunk, using the cyberpunk uh, system from our Talzorian games, uh, let's first talk about why. So you're running a game. Uh, can you tell us about, yep. about why, why this game so special? Because of COVID, the CF Great Stride Walks have been canceled. And so every year I, I either walk, which I have in the last couple of years, because I'm a lazy bum, but I always make sure I support the team. Um, so I want to make sure we could support the team this year because there really wasn't a, a walk to do it with. So my nephew is gamed with us and he has CF. I was like, dude, how about I just run a celebrity game or something for, for Wishes for William? And we'll just, we'll have a link that they can donate directly to the CF, you know, the CF Foundation. I wanted to do this and because William was involved in Boy Scouts, I was like, okay, well, who do I know that was involved in scouting? It's like, well, I could ask Jeff Tulanian, who was involved in scouting, and he's a really great guy and stuff. It's like, who else do I know? It's like, oh, there's Flint Bill. And the Flint, I've talked to, in fact, I met him through Mike Pondsmith, and then Flint and I got talking about, we talked about, I talked with him about things that did not involve, like, what he did in the industry, what he, what he was famous for. And we got talking about Boy Scouts one day. So I figured, what the heck, let's ask Flint. And he agreed to play in a G.I. Joe cyberpunk red game for the CF walk. So we have we have put this game together and you know my nephew is a, he's a good kid. He's he's active and stuff. He's healthy, which is great. Knock on wood for that. Um, so it just I thought it'd be something fun. So we're going to let Flint play Flint from G.I. Joe. So that is what we're doing. Wow, that is awesome. And when is this happening? Uh, July 25th at 5 p.m. So anyone can enter to play for play. So it's free to enter. Um, so they kick me an email at jay at indirpg.com. There'll be a link with this video, right? Yes, there will be. There'll be in the um, description. So you can just email me and we'll put your name in. I have a, a puzzle box to put your name in. So we've got some names in here already. If your name gets drawn, the buy-in for the game is $30 a person. And there's a link directly to the team, and you'll just pay pay uh, the CF Foundation, and then I'll get I'll see the the donation, and we'll send you a character. And then on the 25th at 4:30, I'll send the, the Zoom link out, and once everyone's situated, we'll hit record and we'll start playing. What are you doing for to play? There is no GI Joe RPG per se officially um, yep. out there. So what you're doing is taking this this system. The cyberpunk yep. jump starter kit uh, and then making uh, using and using GI Joe setting to f this the rule set here to fit the GI Joe setting uh, can you yep. tell us about how how like why why this setting why did th why these rules well so back back when I was just starting to get my stride in the industry I like to do these things every Christmas time take a licensed product and put it put it into a system that I like so back in the day it was fusion so I did a massive GI, if you go to gijoe.com and go to the forums or type in GI Joe RPG, it'll take you to all the files I did. Um, so we did this massive thing where we did GI Joe files. I did a Viper pit where I statted out every Viper. So I have it, I have it all printed up. It's a tome that we did up. It was just something fun. So as we got, you know, they got ready to launch um, Cyberpunk Red. You know, I was doing conventions. I'm like, well, I didn't want to run Cyberpunk Red because I wasn't really part of the project. I'm, I'm a design. I'm part of the technical design team, um, but outside of that, the, I was still like doing Mechton Zero stuff and whatever. So I decided it's like, well, we'll do GI Joe 2020 and I'll run it at TotalCon. And then we decided that it's like, well, you know what? Instead, we could do Cyberpunk Red because. Unlike all of you out there, I have a copy of the new combat rules that are going into the core book. So I looked at those combat rules because Cyberpunk read the starter box is not enough for GI Joe. So once I got the combat rules and looked through it, I was like, all right, I can do this nice and easy. And it looks like this. So I did, did up some uh, CGI stuff for GI Joe put together the cards using the G.I. Joe movie card design um, and we statted it all out. So, I, and this is what we came up with. Now I've actually, so the way these cards are set up is you have the G.I. Joe 
section. So where it says infantry underneath, it has the regular Joe stuff. So the Joes will have their original bio card write-ups. And then underneath it, at the bottom, I'll have in the world of Cyberpunk Red. And so what I've done is I created a G.I. Joe um, parallel parallel universe to Cyberpunk Red that has G.I. Joe and Cobra in it. So it shows you how to, how this team works in cyber in the world of cyberpunk red. So and that's and that's what we did with it. Oh wow! And so I have I have a base GI Joe team. I actually have vehicles this time, which we didn't have in Fusion, at least not good ones. Um, and then we have a section for Cobra and a, a section for Mars. Um, so the the game that I'll be running with with Flint will have the Iron Grenadiers in it. Because right after the last G.I. Joe game I ran, which I think was for, uh, was it Gary Con or, or maybe Kobo Con, one of the two, they ended, they ended up in London. So we're going to do a little Scottish adventure for the uh, for Wishes for Williams. So, but the okay. conversion's easy because pretty much if you look at if you look at fusion and you look at cyberpunk v3 the cyberpunk red the basic mecha- the basic mechanics are all kind of like a mesh of the two put together and cleaned up so i can use cyberpunk v3's book to run cyberpunk red partly at least with the char- with the characters cuz i know what converts over to what so fusion taking the fusion stuff was much easier i just increased some of the stats for the joes cuz in fusion you can be a little bit weaker um, where Cyberpunk Red is much more, you are the hero, so your stats should reflect that. Okay. And what, so the vehicles, uh, did you have trouble converting uh, the vehicles in Cyberpunk Red to more of the G.I. Joe and Cobra style vehicles from the 80s? Actually, no. I thought I was going to, but there is, in, I was doing, uh, working on the Chromebook, the new Chromebook that will come out eventually here. Um, so I had all the vehicles I was doing. So it was like I had pretty much got the system of bouncing vehicles back and forth. And so then I looked at the G.I. Joe stuff. I'm like, oh, this is easy. It's like this this is similar to this Cobra vehicle. So therefore, the stats must be this. And so it was just, you know, learning how to bounce it. I kind of use also use a cheat system that I built for a Mechton Zero where you could take the, the old Gundam guidebooks and you can literally build the Gundam from the guidebook without having a construction kit. I had like a cheat sheet of quick builds, so I managed to pull that off. Pull that off with the, the GI Joe vehicles. So. Okay. Wow. Um. Uh. Did, was there so? Was there any? What what characters did you have fun uh, making from GI Joe uh, to the system? Building the characters out of CGI, <laughs> <laughs> because I, because I, look the the GI Joe. I'm not going to use GI Joe art. I, I'm known for building my own stuff if I want to do it. So I did. I actually went through and built built a folder of of GI Joe characters and stuff, and that's that's what I ended up coming up with. So it kind of looks like you know when you're putting it together, something that looks similar to the Joes, but has a more of a, a futuristic cyberpunk feel to it. And that was for my Total Con game. When it comes to, to storytelling, do you feel that the rules will be a big help to you um, for this game to play GI Joe? I. When it comes to, when it comes to running games, the, the rules don't really matter. I mean, to some people they matter. Um, the new combat rules, at least the, the refined combat rules, are much are much more GI Joe friendly. I like I like the the new combat rules just because they're much they're grittier when it comes to taking damage and stuff. So the the starter box has stuff, but it's not it's not refined enough for my taste. Um, but that's you know that's the starter box. It's meant to get people drawn into it so they can they can enjoy the the actual game when it comes out. So okay, and they're definitely going to enjoy the actual game when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to. Um, excellent. So so yeah, thank you very much. Be- before we end this off, can you do you mind again telling us where uh, and how someone can join this game? Yep. So if you can go on to Facebook. And if you type in Wishes for Williams Celebrity Game, it will pull up. Um, and you'll see a picture of, of Flint Dill and my nephew. And as a matter of fact, I can even show you what the page looks like. Uh, okay. Oh, that'd be great, yeah. So the page looks like this. 
So there's a video on the page that tells you about the, the story behind this. And there are, there's a link within the event page or CF for when you, if you do get your name drawn and that gives information about, you know, who to email and how to enter. So. Okay. Excellent. Again, Jay, thank you very much. I love talking to you about gaming. It's always fun. And uh, Anytime, I, man. it's always fun coming on your show. And I, I, I really hope that you get uh, great success with this and I hope it turns out well for everyone. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Please support this charity and um, we'll see, you'll see us soon. Thank you.